six. Now, a, wind, a windsurfer who spent a treacherous seven hours lost at sea put his life in God's hands as he drifted 40 kilometres around the west coast of Ireland. Lorenzo Cubedo, he's from Inch East in County Kerry. He was reported missing off Ballybunion on the 11th of November when he, refa- when he failed to return to shore, which initiated a major multi-agency search and rescue operation. And man, he has some story to tell. Lorenzo, you're very welcome to the programme. Thank you so much for having me. I appreciate that. Now, lovely to meet you. You're an Italian man, is that right? Yes, I am, yeah. And how long are you living in Ireland? Uh, 20, 20 plus years, like, yeah, yeah. Okay, and you're a keen windsurfer, always was? I was. I did a bit of sailing as well, you know, on... um, um, a bit of a, a, on a brigantine schooner, yeah, right. 59 foot, we went uh, across uh, from uh, Falmouth to Madeira, Madeira to Tenerife, and yeah, still in Nice Sydney, trip, yeah. nice <laughs> trip. Okay, I want to bring you back to uh, the 11th of November, uh, that Sunday, um, you went out for a windsurf on your own, off the coast of Ballybunion, what happened next? Yeah, well, you know, uh, I... I check, first of all, I check all my forecasts, you know, from different sources. And uh, there was actually on Met, uh, you know, Met.ie, there was a a yellow warning, marine yellow warning for a 4.6 on all coasts, which for windsurf, you know, is is actually a good wind, you know, it's very, very, very nice, you know. Uh, So I was on the beach, spent probably an hour looking around. I was talking with a fisherman and... uh, and eventually, you know, like checking the wind again, looking at the tide with the anemometer, I, you know, decided on the sail sides to rig, you know, which was actually a, around six meters, you know, with a medium sized board, let's say, and uh, just talking with the fisherman, he had, he had a line, you know, just to check where his line was, yeah, and took off. Okay, so how far offshore did you go before you encountered, it was a, a lack of wind, I understand, that was your initial problem? Exactly, yeah. Well, I mean, I, I sail not very far on the first on the first run, you know, try uh, uh, as you do to stay upwind, but because the wind was very much on and off and dropping, I was just drifting sideways instead of going in a, in a straight line. So coming back, I was very close to the cliffs with the wind blowing from the sea, you know, right. across on shore. So I went out again, I did that for a while and kept drifting too close to the cliff. So with the last bit of uh, wind that I had, I sailed as far from the cliff as I possibly could just to, to stay out of the to way. Stay out of, yeah. Now, you then had an incredible, I suppose, drifting experience for, for seven hours. You went all the way from Ballybunion around Loop Head and ended up in Kilkee. Now, we'll come to that in a second, but at any stage, did you know where you were? Well, I've been told, I've been told, I, I, that's the trip I did. I actually, after a, probably a couple of hours, I, there was no really time. You know, I lost track of time uh, as, soon as, as soon as the night, you know, fell. I wasn't really sure what time was, you know, kind of time stopped. And uh, after a while, I could only see a few lights ahead of me and uh, no lights in the back. So I wasn't really sure where I was right. at that point. I thought I was still in the in the estuary for a long time, I suppose. Right. And am I right in saying that you cut the sail loose off the windsurfer? Yes, exactly. Why did you do that? Because surely if the wind came up, that would have been a way of getting to safety. I thought I thought that a couple of times because the wind picked up again, you know, late at night. I, and I thought if I had the sail, I would have. Uh, the reason, the reason I dropped it is because uh, uh, it would have been as an anchor, so I wouldn't have made much, much, uh, you know, uh, ground anywhere. I would, I would have been stuck, uh, probably again, maybe. Uh, you know, thrown towards the cliff in Balibonio. So that was my reason behind. They also. It was like just staying with the board and hopefully drift somewhere, you know, with the, uh, yeah, with the tide and the currents. Exactly, yeah. So that's what, uh, that's, that's 25 miles of a drift around Loop Hell. It's an yeah. incredible. <laughs> so you get to Kilkee, right? You didn't know you were in Kilkee. I didn't. Um, and you see a cliff. Uh, tell me about then that decision to abandon your board and scale the cliff with your hands. Uh, just walk me through those yeah, final minutes. Well, that was uh, that was it was really hard because I heard first the noise of the wave crashing. 